Hi everybody, it's Rebecca. I am live, I believe. Checking the sound. Checking my chat. There we go. Okay, we're live. So today we're gonna to be doing scratch art. Yes, that's what we're trying for one hour today. So let us, you don't want to see me. <laughs> Let's put this down on the table so you can see what I am doing. I'm trying to figure out what angle you want. You might want to watch this at. Maybe there. Hi, Nan. And hi, Cheryl. How are you? Jennifer's here. And Odd But Nice is here. Welcome, everybody. Scratch art today. So I need my scissors. Let's open this up. Maybe I don't need my scissors. No. This is one of those crinkle moments. Yay. Christmas crinkle. What do you know? See that? Yep. That's what I was working on before you, before I went live. I'll show you where I'm at with that in a little while. So you have to, it's got three instructions here on the back. Trace gray lines using the wood stylus. Where did that go? Uh-oh. Wood stylus. Oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> got it. Oh, she also, she almost brought the scratch art. Well, maybe after today, you'll want to go buy it. Uh, when you scratch it, the lines turn colorful and you can complete the colorful night view. So I looked at this online. I watched this woman do it in, um, you know, fast forwarding. She did the whole painting in one sitting you know, for the camera. And then someone asked her how long it actually took her and she said 15 hours. So we're not going to dedicate 15 hours of live time to this. So Colorful City, oh, this is, um, I guess one that's available. Yeah, where is it? Looks like the Sydney Harbor with fireworks. That's pretty. So instructions in three other di different languages. Three different languages? One, two, three. Hmm, okay. Now I gotta open it, open another thing. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer says the phone won't last 15 hours. Uh, neither will my uh my body at this point. I was at the doctor's today. I am apparently dehydrated. So I'm not drinking enough water. So I'm suffering the effects of that. So what is what did they give me here? So they gave me that. They gave me this. What is this for? I don't know what this part is for. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is the part I'm going to work on. So I figured I would use this to maybe oh Jennifer's creations well hi how are you I just sent you a message on your uh, on the last video you posted um okay I think we're just gonna start and I brought my little my little sealer brush because you're supposed to be able to brush the scrap away as you do it let me see what else everybody's saying. Um, who else is here? Rebecca's here. Hi. Oh, so Jennifer said she'd be right back then. Where should we start? All right, I think we'll just. So what the person said that was uh, the YouTube that I watched is that this wood tip doesn't last for very long. Ooh, interesting. So. You don't have to scratch very hard or deep. Okay, interesting. 
I hope it's a little forgiving because I am not that artistic. Or maybe I should be. I don't know if that's enough pressure or not. So this is interesting. You're just scratching away the blue part. I was just trying to do these parts that are in the sky here. I'm going to try not to worry about being perfect on this. Have you guys done this before? Thank you, Ivo. Nice. She's putting up my Facebook group. Nan has oh apparently done this before and trouble staying within the lines. Yeah, I can see that's going to be an issue already. <laughs> so we're just going to go with it, I think. I'm not using, oh, there's going to be a big mess on my table here at the end if you can see the dust accumulating. I'm just going to try to work on this little part here, I think, tonight. So I got my sister into dime painting. I sent her three kits, and she watched my how-to series, and she asked me some questions, and she's going to give it a shot. Oh, our swap close is actually closes on Friday. What's Friday? Whatever the end of the month is. I don't like that. Or maybe it's supposed to be blue. I don't know. All right, we're going to move on. This doesn't seem too difficult. I don't know why this one looks all wonky. I think it's supposed to be blue. Or maybe I'm not scratching hard enough. Ooh, did I just tear the paper? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> okay, I guess you're not supposed to scratch too hard. Whoops. Okay, we're, we're going to leave that little area there alone. I think I just messed it up. So Jennifer says, well, family song, can't wait to see the replay. Okay, bye, Jennifer. Okay, so Saturday, I guess, is the deadline for our swap. So if you want to get in on the swap, I don't know if I need this or not. Um. What we're doing is like a little gift exchange. It's kind of a secret Santa type thing. It's on my Facebook page, Facebook group. We're doing it through Elfster. And we'll draw names this weekend. I'm sort of undecided on this uh, crap so far. Because this part's blue, and I don't know if this is supposed to be blue or. Hold on. Oh, yeah, parts of that are blue. That's okay. I see what I'm doing here. See? It is supposed to be. I don't know if you can see that. Parts of it are blue, which is confusing because the background is blue as well. So I feel like I'm supposed to be scratching all that blue off, but I'm not. So like this one here is, is just fine. And then I messed that one up because I scratched too hard, apparently. Oh, well.
maybe nobody will see that part. <laughs> okay, Cheryl's signed up. Awesome, great. Maybe I'll draw Cheryl's name. But you're not supposed to tell which name you draw. You just send them your gift. And the gifts have to be sent by a, a date in September. And then you can say what you got on the Facebook page. It'll be from the person's wish list. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not minding this. It's not hurting my hand or anything, so it's kind of cool. It's not diamond painting. Hmm. So it looks like this craft has been around for maybe three or four years. So it's probably come and gone on this in the diamond painting community. That looks pretty cool. So I am working on the um, Diamond painting live schedule because a lot of people have been asking when do people go live and Rachel Ray had a schedule out there so she sent it to me I have it and I she gave me rights to edit it so I've edited it and I went to go share it with everybody and I, I had to contact Rachel again because she has to give me rights to share it so she said she, as soon as she gets to a computer, she's going to do that. But it looks like uh, most nights of the week are, are pretty filled up with diamond painting lives. You can go to a diamond painting live, uh, gosh, every night of the week if you like. And I do try to stop in at most people's lives just to show my support. I don't have young kids anymore and television lately has been horrible. So I just sit and diamond paint and listen to people in their lives. Yeah, I can see where this would uh, take some time. There's a lot of detail to this. I'm curious if that other pen that I got, I have to find it, if it does anything. not know what this pen is for. Someday I'm going to figure it out. Somebody sent this to me and I don't know what it's for. It is not for diamond painting. It's got this rubber tip on it. And then this end. And I got it the same time I got this. Uh, scratch art so I thought maybe it was related in some way but it's not Nan has connection troubles hope to be back later I hope to see you later if not catch the replay honey you, this is not you, this is you can't miss this 
just, just, you just can't. <laughs> it's very exciting. So now my sister wants me to do some embroidery and she showed me a YouTube of this embroidery she wants me to do and good Lord, I'm not so sure I'm, I wanna make that kind of commitment. <laughs> it doesn't look easy at all. See, I'm not staying between the lines here. I'm trying, but it's, it isn't easy. I won't miss the replay. Want to see how you do this? <laughs> okay. We'll see how much we get done in an hour. This, uh, I'm trying to think what this kit costs. I'll have to go back and look so I can put it in the description when I go back to edit this. I don't think it was terribly expensive. I got this from colormyworld.com. If you want to run out and buy one and join in the fun. Well, that didn't help, did it? So I'm going to probably contact this company and tell them that putting blues into the painting doesn't actually, that that are the same color as this don't help because it's hard to distinguish what's supposed to be there. I'm not having any trouble where there's yellow and red, but where there's blue, it's it's just hard to tell. Mysterious artifact. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to just turn the page a little. And it doesn't look like you need too many accessories for this craft. So not interested in doing scratch art. I'd scratch bits. I wouldn't mean to with my nails or rings. My OC would have a cow. <laughs> no, this is not a craft for people with OC. No. Nope. Hi, Pippa, by the way. Nice to see you. See right there. That's probably supposed to be blue. And I'm scratching away. So you can see where I scratched down to the paper on, on that one. But I am not going to let that deter me. I don't think I need that. Okay, we're getting rid of the, the diamond painting accessories here. 
a lot of this garbage. Hmm. It's starting to look like something. But if you're talking hands hurting, then I hear you, they are small for sore hands. You're not meant to stick the nails in you. Hmm. I think if you were really into this, you could uh, there's a metal thing version of this bamboo wood here that you could order. I'm using my little sealing paintbrush. I haven't had to seal a painting in a while because I've been working on Diamond Art Club. This weekend I get my Worlds Away back from the framer. I'm excited about that. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> and then I'm thinking that if you were going to do this long term, like for any length of time, I don't know that you can't put it on a draft too much distance because I'm like right up. My, I mean, my eyes are you know, four inches from the canvas here. I don't think I could do it any farther away. So I don't think this is something you could do for any length of time. You just have to do it in short spurts. Or then you're going to start running into back problems and stuff. Because when I diamond paint, I am not this close to the canvas, that's for sure. A metal, hi, Jean, hello. That's my sister. If anybody doesn't know, that's that's my sister that I just sent three canvases to. Did you start yet? A metal emery board. What am I going to do with a metal emery board? Would work for this. Have you done this before? I don't like when the stuff gets on the tip. See, I think my OCD is coming out now. It's got to be perfect. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, after after America's Got Talent. Oh, okay. You could diamond paint while you're watching America's Got Talent, you know. But I suppose that maybe you need to pay attention if you're watching that show. That means you're not watching Big Brother. Or maybe you are. I don't know what time America's Got Talent comes on. Gene, you're supposed to be getting ready for a hurricane. I just saw on the news that it might hit you guys this weekend.
See, now that bar is blue, so I better just leave it alone. Beck, was it you debating with your daughter about labels? I don't think so. I was debating um, with Malia, my granddaughter, Saturday night, or was it Saturday night? Yes, yeah, she wants to, she thinks she's like this thing called a visco girl, and she was trying to explain to me what that means, and the whole thing was kind of ridiculous. She wants to wear baggy t-shirts. And make funny sounds, and I told, I don't know, this is weird. Kids today are weird. Jean says, long time ago, elementary art class, we put down colored crayon and then covered it with black crayon. Pippa said, yeah, the granddaughter. Yes, we were debating um, this visco thing that she wanted to be where you carry you carry this object called a flask around and then you drop it and you make these funny sounds now where she came up with that i have no idea probably youtube can you imagine people following other people blindly on youtube and just doing whatever they do like scratch art <laughs> Nah, I don't know anybody like that. So Jean's already ready for the hurricane. She has lived there long enough to know not to go to the stores in a panic. No, you have more thing ahead of time. I remember that. But... So odd, what color is the frame? The frame for Worlds Away is, um, it's this, it's a beautiful frame. It's, it's a dark blue. Um, so I think it's really going to turn out nice. And at Hobby Lobby, when you go to get something framed, they actually are, once you pick out the frame and the glass and everything, they can show you exactly what your painting is going to look like in the frame, which is kind of cool. So I got to see what it was going to look like. And it's going to be gorgeous. I just haven't figured out where I'm going to put it in the house. Jean is cooking and watching. Oh, that's fine. We have a lot of people that work and lurk, and that's okay. But this is scratch art. You got to watch. I'm not sure this is worth doing more than one week in a row. We may do something um, fun next week. I haven't figured out what yet. Unless y'all want to see me do finish this up next week. Look at me being very precise here. Look at that. Ooh, I'm an artist and I didn't even know it. I wish I hadn't messed that up there. That looks terrible. I'm gonna have to find a way to hide that. I think this is supposed to be blue right there. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Jake is on his little mat, snoring. Anywhere near bedtime and he's snoring. It's very relaxing, I'm falling asleep. It's kind of cool, though. So I guess you could, you know, have this on hand. If you if you happen to run out of diamond paintings, which I'm, I'm not going to run out for about 
three years at the rate I'm going. Um, but maybe you're just tired of diamond painting and you want to break from it and you want to do something else. This is relaxing. But like I said, I don't think I could sustain it for more than a, an hour. I think my neck and my back would start to hurt me. I'll tell you when we get to 7 o'clock. So let me show you where the, the scarf is at. We got this much done of it. It's, I can't get the whole thing in the camera there. Wow, see? Here's the, here's the scarf. So somebody contacted me the other day and wanted me to do how-to series of videos on crochet. And I said, I am not that good at crochet that I need to be teaching anybody else how to do it. So I do want to know, do you, see, I did a large section of this pink and a large section of this black. And I want to do a large section of this light pink. And then I'll figure out if I want to go any further lengthwise with it. So that's that. And then I thought, Jean's rolling on the floor laughing. Stop laughing at me. Okay. Look at all this garbage. Okay. So it's a good thing I have a big craft table. I got this in the mail today, and I thought I would open it live because maybe this, we can do this next week. What is the crochet pattern on that? On this scarf, it's just a single crochet. You single crochet in the last two single crochets, do two chain stitches, and then just keep going. The whole thing is single crochet. So I bought these. I'm not doing like an official unboxing, but so there it is. So maybe next week we can figure out how to use these. Is that all backwards on camera? It is. Anyway, what this says is 72 fine liner pins. Oh, it's not backwards. Okay, good. But um, so I'm going to give this a, a try maybe next week because I tried those watercolor pencils and I don't even want to show you the two pages that I did because it was so awful. I am terrible at coloring. My goodness. But maybe we'll try the pens next week. And then maybe go back to crochet in a few weeks. I need to do a hat for winter. Somebody's going to have to send me a hat pattern. And then I'll go pick out some cool colors of uh, yarn. So the person that contacted me and wanted me to do the instructional videos, I sent her over to Marissa's channel. I said, uh, Marissa has a very detailed instruction on how to crochet. Um, so watch her channel. I love Marissa. I think she's really busy right now with her charity. There's some event she's planning that's coming up soon. So we haven't seen a whole lot of her. Jean doesn't think I suck at coloring. Well, thank you, Jean. <laughs> I want to see how I can do with the pens, though. We'll see. But those watercolor pencils, they don't, they're not like regular coloring pencils. They're, they're, they are different. They, they, you can't, I don't know how to explain it, but they're not like a regular pencil that I'm used to. So I didn't do a very good job on the pages that I, did make an attempt on. There must be a technique to it that I probably need to look up on YouTube. Maybe uh, Mrs. Coffee has done some instruction on it. Pippa, my husband has bought me markers for my birthday and I bought a couple of books to do. Awesome. 
I think it's those are fun because uh, I can do that in bed at night too. The coloring and the crochet. The dogs don't seem to mind me doing those kind of crafts in bed. You know, because it's their bed. I they just let me in it. And diamond painting was, you know, it was disturbing their rest because there was just too much stuff in the bed. <laughs> This is pretty cool. All right, what am I missing? I wanna do this one area here. Oh, I see what she means about the tip, okay. This is a messy craft. I'm going to have to clean my table after this. It's got this black stuff everywhere. Elizabeth, hi. You're doing very well with the scratch art. I know Sister Teresa had to buy some finer tip sticks from Amazon to get the real fine lines. Oh no, I'm not making any investments. This this is it. This is as, as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> and other than this, this where I scratched into the paper there, I think it's going okay. If you just use a lighter hand with the finer lines, I think you're all right. Because I wouldn't, I can't imagine the lines would be any finer than the ones I'm doing now. This pen seems to be okay for it. Where did I get the scratch art? I got it from a place called, you know, it was it was one of those commercials that they get you on Facebook. You know how they they figure out what you like. I don't know how they thought I liked scratch art, but it was so it was one of those things where it, it, it you know caught my eye on Facebook. But it's called ColorMyWorld.com, um, and I'm going to research uh, what it costs me and put all that in the description when I edit the video later on. And I did reach out to the company. I haven't heard back to see if they want to give me a discount code to give you guys. Um, if I get that information from them, I'll put that in the description as well in case you guys want to give this a shot. Storm made you lose power for a moment. Oh, what? Karen, hi, welcome back, Karen. Marissa's with us, and I can't, Marissa, I was just talking about you. Your ears must have been buzzing. I was telling them that this somebody reached out to me and asked me to do a how-to series on crochet, and I refer them to your channel because uh, I'm not as good as you are at that, and your videos are awesome on how to crochet. So I'm not recreating the wheel on that. So Marissa just got home from work. Have you had your event for St. Jude yet? Has that happened? The walk?
and she said thank you she'll try to do some more in the winter i need i need a pattern for a hat so i can make myself a hat for the winter you missed i was showing the scarf that i'm making oh marissa's my crochet teacher <laughs> this is the scarf that i was doing the uh, videos it's just a single crochet it's the whole thing single crochet but i do know the other stitches now it's just that particular pattern just called for single crochet sorry about moving everybody around um in the 21st of september so we're just about 30 days out oh okay cool well, hopefully this hurricane comes and goes and doesn't disrupt too many lives. I know Marissa's in Texas, so I think she'll be okay. Uh, but who knows, what, you know, once it crosses Florida and gets into the Gulf, you never know what's going to happen. Oh my God, there goes my dog. My dog. That looks great. I love the texture single crochet gives. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty little scarf. I like the colors I'm using. Um, but it, I need a hat pattern. Ooh, I went too far on that one. We're just gonna have to make it look right. There, that looks fine, just fine. She's in Dallas, so the most we usually get is a lot of rain from hurricanes that hit Texas. Oh, well, good. Maybe I can do what before bed? What do you want me to do before bed, Odd? Yeah, Marissa, if you haven't joined, we're having a fall swap, um, just a Secret Santa type swap off my Facebook page. Um, the deadline to enter that is this weekend. So we can get everybody swapped by the end of September. And then we have uh, Marissa and I are doing the next Diamond Painting Marathon that will be at the end of October. That should be fun. It's going to be a Halloween theme. This is something I would never do at a carnival. Get in one of these swing things and go around and around. Uh, no. <laughs> Pink scarf looking good. Oh, thank you. That sounds fun. And I would love to, but everything right now is saying to crap the mail. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, Marissa, and I got your stickers. Thank you. See there? Look. Don't judge me. That's my favorite. <laughs> Can't do the up and down roller coaster thing. Um, I'm not a huge roller coaster fan. There's no roller coasters here. There's a, see this I would do, the merry-go-round. I'm okay with that. I don't see any roller coasters in this picture, but now I'm not, you know, I did the whole Disney roller coaster thing, but some of the newer ones they have out now, no, I don't think so. I'm okay with my feet on the ground. I'll let the kids go up in the roller coasters. There's some that I do enjoy. There's one at Universal, I think, that the rocking roller coaster, I think, is the, what it's called. That was pretty fun. It 
it's the thing with the skirt and spinning cups was about my <laughs> spinning cups. I have some I have seen people turn all shades of colors on those spinning cups. Uh, Marissa loves coasters, but she ain't getting in these swings. These swings, no thank you. Uh-uh. I've done the swings and they aren't bad at all for older folks like myself. Easy on the tummy and no dizziness from the tilt of whirl or roller coasters. So you would try this swing. Hmm. Okay. You're brave. That was a wuss. I was a front seat. She was in the front seat of a roller coaster when I was a kid. Ugh, no. Mm -mm. No thanks. I wet my pants on a roller coaster, man. I, I got on this wooden roller coaster and it went straight up for a long period of time before it decided to, you know, tip up and come back down. And coming back down, yeah, I wet my pants. We're going to say that was the last ride of the day <laughs> because, yeah, it was pretty scary. That was one that was, where was that one? That was a Six Flags one in Chicago, I think, that I did. I am not seeing any hot pink in this picture, guys. You know, I love my hot pink. Oh my God, it's 647. I've been doing this for almost an hour and I haven't gotten off the tilt to whirl here or whatever you call this, the swing thing. Wow. So when that lady said she took 15 hours, I, I can act, I can believe it. This is good. We're going to be live for 15 hours while I finish this. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not. So who wants me to do this another week? Do you want this another week or do you want me to try the markers next week? Whatever you guys want. Or I can go back to crochet. Show of hands. Jean, wish uh, I was with you. No roller coasters. The mind bender at Six Flags over Georgia cured me. <laughs> oh, Melissa's voting for markers. Okay, we have one, vo we have one vote for markers. Now, can you use the markers on the grayscale coloring book I got? Would that be okay? Or do I need to get a different coloring book? I mean, I've got some other coloring books here. I guess it doesn't matter. I could, I could use it for that. Oh, good. Okay, so I'll, I have two of those two grayscale coloring books that I got. We'll try that next week then. Because, man, when I show you what I did with those watercolor pencils, you'll, you'd cry. Now I know why Stitcherista makes photocopies of her stuff before she does it. <laughs> Markers work best on grayscale from what I understand. Oh, cool. Well, then we're in luck because I have the markers that came today. I have the little watercolor uh, pens, you know, the pens with the water in them, if we need to experiment with that stuff. And uh, we can try that out. And if I happen to work on this during the week, I'll, I'll show you what my progress is. And I will be live Saturday night. I hope to get that new live schedule up by Friday. It's it's not new. It's just edited from um, 
the last time Rachel Ray did it. So Rachel and I are um, working to get it edited and uh, out to everybody probably Friday afternoon. So people know when everybody's going live. Another thing I can send to you. <laughs> yes, Jean, your Christmas list is getting longer. <laughs> I just sent her three diamond paintings. So she's, I told her welcome to her new addiction. And then I saw some scratch art, Jean, that's all kitty cats. If you want to get scratch art. Anyone have plans for Labor Day weekend? I'm just happy to have a three-day weekend. Oh, gosh, me too. I'm actually, I could have taken Friday off too, but if I did that, I would use up one of my PTO days, and I want to save those for the holidays. So I am going to work Friday, but then I have the three-day weekend, but no plans. I'm probably going to be diamond painting my new addiction. I do need to get my car worked on. I keep putting that off. I don't know why, I just do. Look at that, I got to some purple. All right, let me brush this stuff off. All right, let me finish this upper part here before we go. And like I said, if I hear from this company with a code for you guys, I'll put it in the description if you want to order this. They're not expensive. And um, they do come from China. So, you know, you're going to get, you're going to wait for it a little bit. Look at me go. Woo. I think I got the hang of this now. I think my neck is going to hurt when I'm done, but. Oh, now my nose itches. Hi, Malia. How are you? Marissa has to work on Monday. No, that's not even, that's an American. What the heck? It's Labor Day. You're supposed to have the day off. It's, actually, I work in a hospital. So luckily I'm in, in the administrative part of the hospital. So, but you know, there's still going to be doctors and nurses working. They don't get the day off. Look at me go. I'm going to have to take everything off my desk and clean it because it is a mess. Look at this mess on my desk. This fine little desk from this scratch art. And the don't judge me sticker. Ah. <laughs> oh, Marissa's in the car business. Ooh, I bet you can sell some cars on that day. Everybody took the day off, so they're going to go car shopping. Yep. So I might be able to get this, this thing done here before we go. We only have 14 more hours to go, guys. <laughs> Who's going to feed me? Yeah, I think I'd be crippled if I stayed here for 14 hours. I'm actually diamond or diamond painting. I'm scratching this at this weird angle. I'm going to need to stretch when I'm done. I should pay more attention to 
my, my body mechanics. That looks pretty cool. Oh, I didn't finish this part over here. Darn. Look at me, I'm an artist. Woo! <laughs> I'm pretty tickled with myself, aren't I? I wish I hadn't messed up that one part. I'm gonna find a way to hide it. How's my purple one going? Oh, my purple one. Oh, let me show you that one. Hold on before we go. I am at the point. Okay, let me come back to the microphone. I'm at the point where I need to switch colors. But this is how much I've gotten done on. Marissa, this is obviously you can see this is a more difficult stitch. This is the one Mrs. Coffee was teaching and it was, it's the shell stitch here where you're doing the double crochets, like five on one um, single crochet. So I think it's turning out really pretty, but it's, it's a little bit more involved than the other one. So it's taking a little bit more time. Thank you, Marissa. I'm getting the hang of it. And then I do, th I think, you know, um, I'd pointed out, I probably, I'm going to run out of yarn on that one. I'm going to have to go get more yarn. I bought two, two different color purple skeins and I don't think it's going to be enough to do a whole scarf because that's using a little bit more yarn than the single crochet does. What are y'all barking at, huh? Oh, you're sitting there all innocent, huh? Oh, I know what their problem is. <laughs> it's dinner time. I have not fed them yet. And Tussie's out there dragging dishes around the kitchen. My dogs are funny. I just want to finish. See, I got one one more little swing to do. And then we'll have the swings done. Uh, Liz tried to crochet once and can't do it because she crochets too tightly and everything rolls up. I'd love to see what others make though. <laughs> okay. Well, I just learned. So I think once I finish these swings, I'll be done with this part. This has been one riveting hour, guys. <laughs> so this is this whole thing, this just this part here took me an hour. So I imagine it's I've got several hours that I would have. Oh now look at this. How did that happen? See, I now I know why you have to color cover up the rest of the painting. It's got these little stray marks. 
all over it. How did I do that? Probably drag and crochet across it, maybe. Oh, well. An easy fix for that, Elizabeth, is to go up one or two hook sizes from what you actually need. Your stitches are looser because your hook is bigger. See, Marissa is the, the crochet queen. She has a solution. Oh, wait a minute. How'd that happen? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I am. Okay. Oh, down here, too. When did I do that? Oh, my goodness. I guess you have to be really careful with this stuff. Hmm. So I, can, I guess maybe I can put it back in the package when I'm not working on it. Maybe that's what this other piece of thing is for to cover it up. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to put this away. I'm going to call it a success. Uh, Liz wants to try that sometime. Oh, she, I think she's going to try Marissa's suggestion. Oh, this dog. I'm going to smack her. I don't know what she keeps barking at. Maybe work on it on your easel. If you, I, I do have, well, I have a, the draft table here. I was just thinking I need to be so close to it. I think dragging that uh, crochet across it probably didn't help. I'll just be more careful next time. So that's our hour, people. Next week, we will be doing, where are we? Okay. My little unboxing, live unboxing. We're going to be doing this. Oh, I'm disappointed. The box got dented. I don't know why, but that's okay. It got crushed right here. The box. But didn't it didn't affect the markers at all? The markers are fine. So this is what we'll try next week. Ooh, look how fine that is. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. I think it no, well, I think you saw it. And is this all the colors? I think there's more colors than that. Yep. Oh, these are some pastels. Nice. This will be fun. And then we've got some more. Wow. 72 to play with. Okay. I'm going to clean off my table, feed the dogs, and... I, what's tonight? Tuesday, Wednesday, watch Big Brother. Oh, yep. And then come back and see who's live after that. So I just put up the Facebook group link. If you guys want to get in on the swap, you still have a few more days to join and put up your wish list. And I will see everybody in my next video or on uh, Saturday night during my live. We're working on Wonderland. I think we we're going to try to finish it up this weekend and maybe do some framing of it next week. Jean says, use some black crayon and see if it will cover it. I will do that. That's a great idea where I made those scratch marks on it. I think it'll probably work or maybe even a marker. I don't know. Or those watercolor pencils. Okay. So bye everybody. I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you for coming to my um, craft adventure here on Wednesdays, and we'll see you next week when we try the markers. Take care, everybody.